Uh, John Kerry officially acknowledging that ISIS is committing genocide in Iraq and Syria against Christians, Yazidis and Shiite Muslims. I asked General Jack Keane about this earlier. Listen to what he said. It is largely symbolic. It is important that a civilized nation condemns the evil of genocide no matter where it's taken place. But I don't believe it'll have much impact on the war, frankly, because the Obama administration has constrained the military, as we know, and nothing more is going to happen of great consequence. All right, joining us now from the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, Zudi Jasser, a frequent guest and a welcome guest on this program. Zudi, welcome to the show again. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to put it straight at you. It must be very difficult for any religious minority these days to live in any majority Muslim country. Am I right? Oh, you're absolutely right, because the thugs in charge uh, target minorities, and uh, if there's anything to be gained, which many groups have been calling for this to be called a genocide, is that then a world, the world knows and makes it known that we will not stand by and not call a spade a spade. The crimes against humanity, the genocide that so many groups have been calling for. And by the way, Secretary Kerry finally did this. Why? Uh, Congressman Fortenberry uh, passed the legislation 393 to zero earlier this week, demanding that the administration do this. So they finally did it. Okay. And when we stand by and don't uh, defend the minorities, they will be wiped out systematically in crimes against humanity. The Christians, the Yazidis, the Shia minority that ISIS has targeted uh, with uh, enslavement, beheadings, torture, rape. I mean, it has been being done for years and they didn't say anything and didn't call it a genocide and they finally did and I think a lot of families even though it won't bring back their their loved ones it will allow them to know that we stood with them but it's not just ISIS that's doing this over the last 30 40 50 years first Jews then Christians run out of town across almost all of North Africa that's been going on for a very long time I wouldn't necessarily call it a genocide but it's getting rid of religious minorities on a mass scale. That has been happening. Absolutely, and I think what your point is so important, Stuart, because we ignore the fact this didn't just start after the Arab awakening. From Saddam's Iraq to so many of these dictators, you've seen the evacuation of Jews and other minorities because they've created an environment inhospitable to religious freedom, religious liberty, and the ability for self-expression and worship. And we would be remiss, Stuart, if we didn't recognize that Samantha Power, the ambassador to the UN, who is the person that wrote the book on genocide, even before ISIS has sat by as the majority Sunnis in Syria have been wiped out to the tune of 400,000 with chemical weapons attacks. So it's not only just minorities, but majorities who are victims of minority governments where we sit by and do nothing. I mean, what does America stand for in the world? And finally, to hear Secretary Kerry call ISIS's act genocide, now we're waiting to hear them call Assad's act genocide against the Sunnis in Syria also. There's a genocide sandwich happening in Syria. Zudi Jasser. Thank you very much for joining us. As always, sir, appreciate it. Thank you, Stuart.